Hi, Assalamualaikum. My name is Nadira Pinti Mazalan. I will explain first infographic about the chronology of hand, foot and mouth disease HFMD outbreak chronology in Malaysia. First case occurs on January 2018. The outbreak of HFMD occurs among children nationwide across Malaysia. Second cases, 1st January 2018 till 26 July 2018, nearly 38,000 cases were recorded. And 2021, only 2,121 cases were recorded. On 17 May 2022, 1,676 HFMD cases were recorded in the previous epidemiology week report compared to this week on 17 May, staggering 7,526 cases which 349% increases from, uh, from the other case. The majority of outbreak locations occur in kindergarten, nurseries, preschool with 575 outbreaks, 65% increased followed by private homes with 305 outbreaks, 34% and also child care center with 27 outbreaks on 17 May 2022 was recorded. Thank you. Selamat pagi, nama saya Menaha Anak Perempuan Silvermani Metrik nombor B081913006 So, saya punya part 2 and fungsi uh, nombor 3 So, F, uh, HFMD itu Hand, Foot and Mouth Disease So, untuk mengelakkan yang itu kita kena practice uh, Good Hand Washing Habit macam dalam lima sehat ke atau tiga sehat ke kita kena wash hand kita selepas tu uh, nombor dua tu cover uh, your mouth and nose when cough or sneezing kalau macam kita patuh ke macam tu kita kena cover dengan tisu untuk elakkan untuk uh, virus tu menyebar untuk orang lain nombor tiga tu avoid touching your face with unwashed hand uh, kita kena elakkan tangan kita yang tak basuh tak cuci tu untuk uh, letak dekat muka ke macam tu so kalau yang tu kita boleh dapatkan white daripada bakteria yang keempat clean the and sanitize common area and surface kita kena clean kita punya tempat untuk mengelakkan uh, bakteria so kelima tu avoid crowded places sebab kalau crowded places tu macam dia akan uh, boleh uh, bakteria tu uh, attack kita so yang tu ok uh, itu saja. thank you uh, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh uh, my name is Muhammad Zain Ben Zukapri I'm from BET section 1 2. Today I will talk about the HFMD effect. Uh, there are many more effects, but the most common one is firstly dehydration. Some people, especially the young ones, uh, may get dehydrated if they are not able to swallow enough water and liquid because uh, their mouth become painful and sore. Parents can prevent it by uh, dehydration by making sure their children drink enough liquid and water uh, second one is the fingernails and toenail loss uh, this is rarely case people may lose uh, fingernail or toenail after having a hand foot and mouth disease most of the report uh, state that when having it um, it attack on children usually uh, the loss of nail within a few weeks after being back being sick then uh, they usually go back but uh, there are no evidence or strong evidence said that hand foot and mouth disease are the causes of the disease of the losses uh, for the next uh, for the third one is viral aseptic or meningitis uh, although there are very a small number of people with this disease get a viral meningitis 
uh, usually it cause a fever, headache, stiff neck or back in pain. Uh, some of them may require to be hospitalized for a few days uh, because being infected. Okay, the last one is encephalitis or paralyzed. Uh, this also uh, very rarely cases, but small number of people with the small hand mouth disease get a encephalitis or paralyzed. Uh, it normally means as a swelling on the brain. Uh, it cannot move a part of the body. It is extremely rare. Uh, it commonly happen on the elders. Uh, that's all for me. Thank you. Ramadhan Barakatu. My name is Nick Agli Bini Asri. I'm from BETS2-1. So today I want to present uh, for info infographic 4 and infographic 5. So the first one infographic 4, HFMD using ethical problem solving techniques. So the state problem, HFMD among children in Malaysia. So this is a problem. Uh, so for the facts, we know uh, the HFMD start uh, happen, almost happen in summer and fall. So this is a virus called set virus AC16 uh, the, the virus that uh, cause the HFMD so that this virus also cause uh, the illness uh, it's spread uh, by respiratory droplets touching an infected uh, person object and surface next different view of point high temperature and low humidity cause hand Food and mouth disease HFMD incident in Guangzhou, China from 2013-2017. In total, 353 431 confirmed HFMD cases were reported in Guangzhou. So the fourth one are formulated opinion. So this is our opinion for some the HFMD. Wash your hands. Make sure your hand clean before touch your eyes, nose, mouth. Next, use uh, over the counter medicines to reduce the temperature and pain. Lastly, to stay hydrated, consume lots of liquids. So, lastly, we we are uh, have a re recommendation. We already know that uh, the school has many children, so solving this problem needs to start from preschool by teachers. Beside that. Preschool should take extra care to uphold strict standard of personal and environmental hygiene. Finally, to lower the danger of sickness among children, preschool should have appropriate facilities for waste disposal and diaper disposal. So that's it for infographic four. We go to infographic five, which is HFMD. This is solution using sustainable development. So, firstly, um, sustainable cities and communities. So, the point is, uh, we support the country that have, uh, the state that have um, HFMD cases by the financial support. So, the second one, uh, the government in is necessary adding specialist units in, tra in treating HFMD disease is district health clinic. All right. For second, so second one, education. Intensive education on hand hygiene technique to improve the personal hygiene of parents and children. This further reduce the incidence of HFMD. The third one, prevention. Practicing cleanliness in daily life by practicing the habit of washing hand. In addition, avoid taking HFMD patients to public places. Finally, take the HFMD patient to see a doctor for treatment. Lastly, the media. The media uh, sh uh, should spread uh, the right information and cultivate understanding related to the prevention of HFMD disease. So that's it for infographic 4 and infographic 5. Thank you.